Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Thought I would make a, a video and uh, talk about Lyme disease a little bit. This is that season where, you know, the weather's getting warm and people are uh, doing more outside, maybe doing a little camping, maybe working in your yard. Uh, ticks are all over the place and uh, you can look up Lyme disease to see uh, regions and states and things of that nature where uh, Lyme disease is present in uh, tick-borne bites. I uh, have an example for you, myself. Uh, I went camping a couple of weeks ago and uh, I had gotten a tick bite that I found uh, a little bit later. Uh, you have to have a, a tick has to be on you for you know, over 24 hours or something like that to successfully pass on the, uh, the uh, Lyme disease itself. And uh, I reckon it was uh, Monday or uh, Tuesday that I noticed that I had a tick on the back part of my shoulder here. Uh, kind of out of my line of sight, right? And I, I took it off and I really didn't think too much about it. It itched a little bit and uh, kind of went on about my way. Well, I noticed today when I was outside, uh, I rolled my sleeve up and was uh, just going to scratch it. And this is what I saw. Okay, what you can see here is uh, the bullseye, and I hope this is showing up. Uh, the bullseye with the red rash uh, circle around the bullseye. And that's about two and a half inches, I guess, in diameter. So uh, I went to the doctor and the doctor looked at uh, this rash here and he goes, that's a fine example of what a uh, Lyme disease infected tick bite looks like. Uh, so they started me on uh, treatment for the Lyme disease. Uh, some of the symptoms is uh, you really feel tired, uh, some heart palpitations, um, soreness in your joints, things of that nature. Uh, things to look out for, swelling in your joints, and, uh, you know, some discomfort from that. Uh, Lyme disease is uh, kind of serious. It's a, it's a serious thing. It's nothing to take lightly. It's nothing to say, hey, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll go later to the doctor or whatever. If you have a tick bite and you have, you know, that rash that's beginning to form, you need to go ahead and go to the doctor and not be like me and not check on it after knowing that I pulled a tick off of there. I didn't check on it and it's really not in the spot that you look at, right? So, you know, do those chick tick checks completely uh, and as best as you can. Uh, keep an eye on tick bites and see how they, uh, hopefully they'll just heal up. Uh, I happen to have uh, heart issues and diabetes and that just makes things worse, right? So, uh, according to the doctor, I have a 50-50 chance that uh, the antibiotic and other treatments will, you know, hit it off at the pass before it can get into a full-blown uh, complications from, from Lyme disease. So, 50-50 uh, chance, I didn't think that was too good. And then when I told him I was a heart patient and had diabetes, he was like, oh, well, well. That's not so good. <laughs> well, it is what it is. All right, folks. Uh, just a quick video, like a public service announcement or something of that nature. We have a big Memorial Day weekend this weekend. People, I'm sure, are going to be uh, hiking and camping and do all the things that we enjoy to do. Uh, just make sure to know your region, to know if Lyme disease is present in your region. And whether it is or not, you have things like Rocky Mountain uh, fever and all these other things. Uh, uh, follow up, use repellent. Uh, follow up on uh, tick bites and uh, don't do like I did and happen to notice something a few weeks later. All right, well, thank you for watching. <laughs> not a great subject, but hopefully it's a, it's a good message. At any rate, uh, take care and remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.